Good morning children. I hope you and your family are doing great and taking all the required precautions during this pandemic COVID-19. Children, as you all know that we would not be able to conduct our regular classes that we would have loved to. But nevertheless, I have thought of doing something using this. Tan -ta -da! Yes, our very own fraction kit. You remember how you all enjoyed playing so many activities around it in the class? Yes. So today I thought that why not we make our own fraction kits at home and play some fraction games with our family. So through this video I am going to teach you how to make your own fraction kit at home and play some activities using the same. So come let's get started. So children, first I'll take this paper, which is almost A3 size. Instead of paper, you can uh, use a newspaper or a cardboard. It can be a thin cardboard or anything. You can also use a colored paper like this if you have at home. Now I'm going to fold it from the center. And then one more fold I'll make. like this so this is going to give me four circles four holes okay I will use compass ruler and pencil so with the help of the ruler and the compass I'm going to take the diameter of the circle I have decided is 14 centimeters. So according to that the radius I will take which is half of diameter that is 7 centimeters. So 7 centimeters radius of my circle. I will place the compass and okay. Before tracing, I will see whether my so that's how I have made one circle. Now I will use scissors and I will cut. So now I've got four whole circles. So firstly I have to make half. Okay. So to make a half it is very easy and simple. I'm going to fold this exactly half and press it from here. Okay. Pinch it a bit and then press it again. Now there are two options to cut this. You can use scissors to cut it from the center or like I am going to use a paper cutter. You can have an elder's supervision to use it or maybe your parents or your elder siblings can help you do that. So now I have got half and one more half so two halves of a whole okay next I'm going to have four equal fractions of this whole so how am I going to do is first what I did for making half okay 
pinch it again all right and then again half fold it again and pinch it well okay same instructions to cut these four equals okay so i'll use the paper cutter so there i've got four equal fractions of one whole this is 1 by 4 or we can also say it fourth 1 by 4 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 Now next is one by three of a whole, or one third. Now to make this, you have to fold this and just pinch it from here and pinch it from here. Don't press from the center. Okay. mark these points with pencil all right now with the help of a ruler join these two marks okay this is basically 14 cm diameter as you can see here okay and 7 cm i am going to mark as the center of the same all right now from this point and this point i have to fold this paper in a way i can touch this mark with the midpoint of the circle you can also mark the point at the other side of the paper so that it is clearly visible so just fold the paper no need to press it from here pinch it at this corner and the other corner as well now unfold the paper as you can see there are two impressions one on the right side another one on the left side now i will use the ruler and i'm going to join this point and this point with the help of a ruler and it will come exactly 7 cm which is again radius of the circle again from here i will use it like this and i will join it this is also 7 cm now what i have got is three i've got three equal parts of this circle one is this another one is this and another one is this so now i'm going to use either i can use scissors or i can again use paper cutter to do that this time i'm going to use scissors to cut it so this one third of the whole this is another one third of the whole and this is the third one third of the whole so these are the three equal fractions of the whole that i have made 1 by 3 1 by 3 okay and this is also 1 by 3 okay now as we have made 1 by 3 similarly we can also make 1 by 6 If you remember how we made one by four with one by two, so we just folded it again in, into two equal halves, and we got one by four from one by two. So I can also do it similarly. So now I have cut it only this much. Okay. Now with this line, I'm gonna fold it.
like this okay all right and the other side this side you can again fold it so this is one by three children now you again fold it and this is actually one by six okay now unfold the entire thing all right with the help of a pencil and ruler you can again draw the lines So now I have made one by six. That means six equal fractions of the whole. So this is one by six, 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 and one by six. If you remember in our previous class, we also understood this idea that in a whole, if we are dividing it into six equal parts, we get six one by six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Similarly, three equal parts, we get three one by threes. One, two, three. Likewise. 